Hi everyone, welcome back to Testing Insights by Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will learn Java for absolute beginners. So let's see what are we going to cover in this particular tutorial. So in this video, we will cover, we will learn Java from a beginner's level. If you have worked on programming language before, then you will understand it in a more clear and better way. But if you have never worked on any programming language before, then this video will definitely help you. We are going to start with very basics of Java, very basic of programming language, right? So I hope by the end of the video, you will have some understanding of what is Java and how do we start working on Java. What is Java? Java is a programming language. What do you mean by programming language? Programming language means it's a set of instructions which you give it to a computer in order for computer to process and give you some results. For example, at this point of time, I'm talking to you in English. English is a communication medium. We speak different languages to make human understand the language, right? In the same way, how do we make computer understand what do we want? We give him some set of instructions. And how do we give those set of instructions? In binary language, computer understand only binary numbers that is 010101. Let's talk a little bit about Java history. It's not mandatory to know, but it's good to know to have some knowledge on the language you are learning. So there was a guy named uh, there was a guy named James Hosling, James Hosling, who invented Java in 1991. He was working with Sun Microsystems before uh, when he invented Java, and I think in year 2010. Um, Oracle company acquired Sun Microsystems. That's why when we uh, download JDK, we go to Oracle website because Oracle took the license of Java from Sun Microsystems. That happened in year 2021, I think. Okay, so let's talk about what are the things required in order for you to start working on Java on your machine. So you need two things. One is JDK and second is IDE. JDK is Java Development Kit and IDE is Integrated Development Environment. You need something to write code, right? Where will you write code? Like we used to write in notepad.txt files, right? So, but for Java code, we have a dedicated uh, environment. We call it as IDE, Integrated Development Environment. We have different type of IDE available today. I will come to that in a little while. Let's understand what is JDK first, because this is the most crucial part of Java. It's for your understanding. You will understand how a program works in Java. JDK is Java Development Kit. As of now, you can understand it as a set of tools, which helps you to build, uh, develop, and run your Java programs on your machine. JDK, basically, I'm going into a little bit depth of it. JDK is basically a combination of these things. Java C, Java C means Java compiler, plus JRE, Java Runtime Environment, Developer Tools, and Libraries. Let's understand what is Java C. Java C, C signify compiler. So Java C is a compiler which converts your Java source code into bytecode. Java source code is what? Your line of code, whatever you have written. It's when we say, when we say, uh, save the file to dot Java files. Dot Java is the Java program extension. Okay, these are extensions. Whenever you save any program, we have to give them some extension. If you are, if you have worked on JavaScript, you will know it's saved by dot JS, right? So source code is the dot Java files. Java compiler, it converts your Java source code into byte code. Bytecode is what? Bytecode is your class file. So Java C gives you dot class files. That's that's it. This much is enough. Bytecode needs to be converted in machine code so that your computer can understand. Now there is JVM. JVM is Java Virtual Machine. It translates the bytecode in machine specific format. So JVM is inbuilt in the system to uh, to work on Java. Now I have written developer tools. What are developer tools? Some tools to help you write and compile your program. And then libraries. Libraries are some predefined code 
which helps you in writing your program. You don't have to write every time full line of code. For example, when you say system dot out dot print and you have s out and uh, enter, you will get this printed. So there are some set of libraries already available which can make the work uh, easier. Then we have JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Java Runtime Environment, as the term suggests, it's an environment to run your Java applications. Correct? Java Runtime Environment, it provides you an environment to run your Java applications. So if you want to run a Java application, you will need only JRE, Java Runtime Environment. But if you want to develop a Java program, you have to build a Java program, you will need JDK. So when you download JDK, you will have JRE by default uh, installed in it. You will get JRE files uh, beforehand. <clears throat> so le let me show you um, how to download JDK and how to download IDE so that in the next video, when we start working on a line of code, you should be able to uh, do that, right? So there are, uh, first let's talk about JDK. JDK, you download it from official Oracle website, right? This is the reason why we download it from Oracle because Oracle acquired uh, Sun Microsystems in 2010. So you simply go to Google and uh, type download JDK. Go to the first option, which is from the verified source, Oracle, Java Oracle downloads if you are working on windows machine like i am also i am working on windows so you install this one you download this one if you are working on linux or you are working on mac os you can download this one now uh, the ide there are many ides available apache netbeans eclipse and vs code editor so you simply go to google type NetBeans download, go to the first option. This is a verified resource. Always download such software from verified resources. Apache NetBeans release, Apache NetBeans 23, latest version of IDE released on September 19th. So you can download it. Or if you want to work on Eclipse, you can download Eclipse. Just go to Google, type Eclipse downloads and download your favorite IDE package here. If you want to work with VS Code Editor, just type download VS Code Editor for Windows. Come here. And again, depending on the system you are using, Windows, Mac, or whatever, you just download this Windows 10 um, installer file on your system. When you download it, you do the double click to install it. And then do click, 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 yes, yes. And then there will be some agreement which you have to accept say I agree to the terms and conditions and click on OK, it will be downloaded on your machine. In the next chapter, we will learn about the first program and many more things about Java.